under the root folder, root directory of this widgets folder, uh, basically the, the most useful one. For example, the toolbar, toolbar basically have the class uh, wrapped all the logic class for, uh, used for toolbar. Uh, I, I don't know if I have a picture here. I mean, uh, if you look at the, the readme, if you see here, so this is the toolbar. Oh, okay, here. So this is the toolbar here, right? You can see, so it's the toolbar. So the toolbar is the, the corresponding to the class here. And uh, if there's a folder here, so basically you see all this button, right? Uh, here, those buttons, right? Camera button and the stuff. So basically uh, for each button, we have a class uh, corresponding to it so under toolbar folder, okay? Uh, so this class link is uh, wraps logic used for the the, the link like uh, when you want to basically we we mentioned auto format the link before right the URL right so yeah the controller has a bunch of useful functionality uh for example it can uh get the changes right so basically uh when you use a uh used editor did some manipulation you can call this method to get the document change, basically. It's uh, uh, coupled with the document class, and on top of it, it provides a very useful functionality, like uh, get a selection style and stuff. We'll, talk about, we, we, we'll explain those methods later. And uh, uh, next. So as in the name suggests, the cursor class wraps the functionality around the cursor. Uh, the default style is more like themes. Uh, basically, it defines the default styles for like head head one paragraph bold. This is how we render or uh, present uh, show display it right. So you see, uh, by default, the size small is font size ten. Uh, if you don't like it, if you prefer nine eight, so you can change. You can pass your own right to. Uh, we actually encourage you to uh, submit a pull request for uh, if you don't feel like this is a I mean if you feel like yours is better looking uh, I'm not exactly a UX guy so yeah I mean if you have uh, better uh, better style uh, as the default uh, we encourage you to submit pull request to change our default uh, instead of passing your custom style for yourself, uh, we try to make the repo better. So hope, uh, so we basically right now have some default uh, styles, uh, for different uh, attribute, uh, for inline code, underline, and stuff, right? Uh, but they might not be perfect. Okay. Uh, also. Like the link class also render functionality for link, and the keyboard listener is more meant for desktop and web. Okay, uh, floating cursor is a special functionality in iOS. If you don't know what floating cursor is, you just Google or search it in YouTube what floating cursor is. They should explain things like that for you. It will activate like uh, make your keyboard like a cursor. Anyway, uh. So we visited the toolbar class. Okay, I, I want to iterate the other three uh, 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 folder. So here, embed folder basically it basically contains the default embed builder for mobile. Okay, this one is only for mobile. So it has image and uh, video. Okay, right now we only support those two. Uh, it has the functionality. So even if you didn't provide uh, embed builder for for mobile, we have the default one, uh, which I think uh, should works as. I mean, I I know you can provide your own embed uh, default embed builder, but uh, if you have some improvement, uh, we encourage you actually to submit a pull request to uh, here so to modify it. Okay. Uh, it basically all the class like image it wrap wrap up all the functionality for image, 
and the video. For video, we, we have two uh, different class. One is for general video, like uh, it could be local file, could be any video file. But uh, for YouTube, it's actually we can uh, kind of like a nested display. So YouTube is a little bit uh, special. Okay. Uh, the other thing is uh, raw editor. The raw editor uh, is a mixing uh, to supplement uh, or enhance the uh, actually here the raw editor here. Okay, so basically it's two mixing. Okay, here the style of the widget is basically. Uh, so let me first explain bullet point, checkbox, and the number point. Those are basically the uh, the list block, right? In the list block, you can define. Uh, okay, let me open one. Okay. Uh, so in the list, uh, I'm just using web for demonstration. So in the list class, you can have this, right? This is number. Uh, this is. Uh, I think this is a checkbox. This are this is the what what do we call it? Number bullet. Okay, bullet. Okay. So those are basically how we build the uh so for the list, okay. Three different uh, class. Is it corresponding to those here? This one uh type something two, right? And the other is uh, this. Okay, the other is checkbox, right? So you can check it, uncheck it. Okay. So this class is used for that. Okay. Uh, and actually, we have, as you notice, that we can have nested, right? So you can have uh, here. Uh, so here you can have nested type something here. It become A B C right, and then you can further go. It become I, J K. So we also support that now. It's also back to one something. So these are also supported. The logic is in the text line here. Uh, actually, it starts from text block. The code for Building around the other logic is here. Uh, build the children. Uh, we we take uh, consideration of the count because we want to know. Uh, actually, we we take a track. We track uh, the index, so we know the indentation because. Uh, ev for those kind of logic, we every time we actually want to, add a new uh increment in the index when we, uh. So the, you see here, I is uh, first indentation and A, B, C, right? So that's where we check those using index. And uh, the logic here is building the leading. So we need to decide it's a number or A, B, C or I, uh, uh, Rom, Rom, Roman, right? So the logic here basically, uh, the attribute here is uh, order the list, right? Order the list. This UI means bullet list, okay? So, and also for checkbox, says here. So, the logic for calculating the indent width, right? We, we track how many indentations. So, this is basically using the index we are using. Uh, how many indentations we should be using. Uh, the spacing. Spacing basically decide on your level, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm trying to find the where the Roman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess it's here. So we calculated the Roman uh number here. So it's actually a quite a, uh, quite a complicated uh, like algorithm. Yeah. Here. So we have the uh, integer to Roman. Where we calculate the Roman is here. Basically, the I. Two i, three i. That's the Roman number, right? So if you keep adding, oh, something, something. So that's the Roman number. Okay. So here, uh, yeah. 
you see this is part of the build function here uh this, this logic here is uh, because we know the level uh is kind of like repeated by three so first is number one two three then a b c d e f g right then roman then it's back to one two three so if you first nest it says it, it goes to a b c so the level is repeating like by three right so if it's so if it divided by three so we know it's a b c right so we we change it to like a b c Excel is kind of like an Excel sheet column title, right? Because when it reaches C, it become uh, AA, right? 2A. And the uh, level 3 is 2, then it become I Roman, right? And it goes back to 1, 2, 3. Okay, so, so this is uh, where the logic is building for the number point. Okay, so this is basically, I think it's uh, used for the, uh, when you have the list. So it's a little bit complicated. Order the list, or this is I think this is uh, okay. Sorry, num number list. Okay, bullets. Okay. Yes, that's the logic here. Uh, also, you can so this is part of the building the leading number. I think uh, if you find the usage for this one, this is uh, okay. Read. Okay, here. So as I mentioned, this is build the leading. Leading means the leading uh, this icon uh, one two three or ABC here, so this is the logic for build the leading, and uh, after the leading is actually the text line we are building. Okay, so it has maybe has style like a bold or stuff, right? Uh, and the uh, selection color, right? And the, all the other stuff. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, next. Uh, uh, video we probably will uh, pick some uh, specific uh, code logic uh, special part to talk about it